prime time and about time. I'm Deion Sanders. They call me Coach Prime. What time is it? Showtime, prime time. When you play in the NFL and you reach a certain level, you're somewhat of a teacher, of a leader, of one of those guys who people confide in and they look to. All my life, I've been that particular guy. Life is a heck of a teacher. And if you just listen to it, it will teach you wonderful lessons. My coaching style is composite of the multitude of men that have really blessed my life and coached me and took me from level to level. The progression into coaching, I'm not gonna say it was natural. What, what transpired was I'm a real father and I take fathering serious. So when I was getting my kids into youth football, I noticed at practice that these coaches didn't know what they were doing, what they were talking about, and it, it someone could have got hurt. So I get up out of my chair and I go help and demonstrate and show them, I sit back down. By the end of the practice, I was up more than I was down. And I thought to myself, I've never been a follower. I've never thought like that. So why don't I just do my own thing? My youth organization was called Truth. We pretty much took over Texas. We played everyone in the country and did the doggone thing. And it was just unbelievable. Now we got a school. We kept going and going and we went to this other school, then another school. We won four state titles in four years. And then I started getting phone calls from A.D. Ashley Robinson at Jackson State amongst a couple others. Would I consider this? And I had opportunities for this, but God was pointing me to that. And JSU, here we go, baby. Here, get ready, because we about to change the game. Found out that Jackson State, my man Deion Sanders, just signed Travis Hunter. Um, to come to Jackson State and play. Congratulations to Travis. Congratulations to Jackson State, the program, to the SWAC, to the HCCUs out there, kind of changing the game right now. The situation in attaining Travis Hunter, I don't call it the flip, because we had never sat in front of him before he made the decision that he ultimately changed. We connected. Our coaches connected. Our atmosphere, a homecoming. I'm talking to other coaches right now. If you want to lose a recruit, let him come to an HBCU homecoming. And it's a wrap. He ain't never coming back. Because of the pageantry, because of the, the energy, because of that, 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 that hunger, because of that, that passion and that commitment and that unity that he saw on that visit was incomparable to anything. It's almost like you guys think that just because he went to HBCU school that nobody ain't gonna see him no more. If you lost your mind, you better check the history, you better check social media. We doing the doggone thing. Take your level up, you playing here. We gotta go here. Football consists of a multitude of moments that if you maximize them, you have the advantage and you're advantageous over your opponent. The thing about it, you never know when that moment's gonna happen. Ooh, that moment. You could turn that moment into a monument. Why I coach? Because I have a calling on my life to inspire, to encourage, to motivate, to uplift, to showcase, to win, to dominate, to unify, and to exude truth and bring forth truth. I'm loving what I do and I'm doing what I love. That's why I coach. I know our weaknesses and I can fix that. I know our strength and we're gonna enhance that. But the best is yet to come. We just get started.